According to a new study, boys may have a higher risk of developing a smaller penis if their mother is overexposed to phthalates during pregnancy. And to take that a step further, some groups are saying that chicken, which is high in phthalates in some cases, mm -hmm. that's a chemical compound that has been shown to potentially have adverse effects on sexual development, that these women, when exposed to it with a child in utero, those boys came out with smaller guns, or a smaller gun. <laughs> What you really have to know is, especially for my pregnant women out there, is it's okay to eat chicken. This, the study that was done um, really wasn't a great study, and it didn't exclude for other factors um, that could contribute or have, you know, or, or exposures to phthalates. So it just said phthalates in general, increased phthalate levels were associated with this. So it's not Yeah, because the study actually looked at rats. Yeah. It looked at rat populations and rats that were exposed to phthalates. Phthalates are one of the chemical compounds out there. We've talked about BPA, bisphenol A, which is in a lot of plastics. We've talked about parabens on the show. There are all these chemicals out there that have been called quote unquote endocrine disruptors. They can act right. like estrogen in the body. It's very important. There has been no shown cause effect. There is just, at this point, some concern. I don't know that, that we're quite at a place where where you can say to people, don't use this, but, yeah, but, but be aware. aware. Exactly, just like for fingernail polish with pregnant women. Now that's different. We've been starting yeah. to say, you know, use toluene-free fingernail polish in pregnant women. So these are things you can be aware of and start to make little changes. And the good news out there, these products are now universally BPA-free and almost all of them will be marketed with a big sticker that says BPA-free. As far as things like phthalates, they're in so many products it's hard to eliminate them from your life. I think you just need to be aware. These are associations. It doesn't mean that some things are going to be potentially harmful. So, you know. And it could be it's harmful the cumulative for, effect, right? exactly. for a lot of things in your body. Yeah. We did sort of start off this piece talking about penis size. And I don't know if we want to continue with Go that or there. not. But most men, they have that on their mind. And studies showed that in general, most men's penis size falls within a normal range. Right.